so these are the highlands. I want that temple right there has to have something crazy. You know what's at the top of that temple, Professor? There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground Pokemon. Oh, the fish is gonna destroy here. And up there, right beneath the great rift in the space-time, is Mount Cornet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on, on the Pokemon. Make your way up the mountains with Indigo. This is a really cool area. A Luxray. What other creatures will we discover? Just a bunch of Luxrays. This is, would be a shot. Oh god. I could still hit this. I can hit that's a hit. Wow. Alright, Indigo, are we going into this tunnel? Alright, Indigo. The Electro, known as the Lord of Hollow, is somewhere deep in the cavern. But its Electro Discard Charge is too dangerous. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. I think it, it must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one irritable as Electrode? Um, I don't know. I don't think what... So it's true! It's an odd old life from Pokemon and humans alike. Is this a coin team? No, it's Melly. Wait, is Melly... Melly's trying to steal the Electrode? But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. Oh no, she protects the Electrode. I think she wants to battle. Alright, Melly, you want to battle? Let's do it. The business of is the galaxy team anyway. The electrode, let's lose sparks. All right, enough monologuing. Oh wait, she's running? These frenzies. Indigo, what'd she say? What is it you wanna do, Squatch? Uh, let's press on. Very well, the tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Snubwatch, you must pass through here. Who is this Sneasler guy? You'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home and navigated in the dark. It is quite dim in there, you'll need to watch your step. Let's go into the cavern. It's kinda ominous in here, Indigo. Well, this is odd. The torches that lit the way have gone out. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there is no need to concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward! Okay, we can't lose Indigo. Otherwise, we might be lost in here forever. Oh, is it left or right? I th don't think Indigo even knows. You know, that Melina chick shouldn't have talked so fast. She was really monologuing, but, uh, we don't know about what. Wait, why are you stopping, Indigo? Did we go the wrong way? Oh, it's an alpha. Giving the poor vis visibility. Wait, you don't want me to take it out? Okay. If I ever call a man who looked like me, we'd battle and discuss Pokemon. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. Indigo, uh... I think you've spent too much time in this cave. Even the memories themselves have fade. It appears much still lives in the heart. Indigo, the music's getting kind of funky. Are we free? Oh, here's the torches that that person moved. Let me put the torches back. Oh, nice. Now we'll know the way. Follow the tracks. All right.
Oh, look at that guy. Yeah, 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 Mr. Golbat. I'm just here for this guy. The chomper. I really want a chompster here. Dude. Is this chompster good? Dude, dude. Oh, he's level 21, a Ghibli. I like that guy. He's kind of low level, though. And that was a girthy guy. Ooh, should we explore the cave a little bit? Now that we got the, uh, the bass man? An alpha crowbat. Oh, this was the secret entrance. Or no. Not really. Alright, we made it out. Just barely. We gotta get to this, uh... This sleazer guy. So where's sleazer? Professor Lavington told me how you fell from the sky, lad. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in the Hisu region. Yeah, I guess none of us really remember how we came into this world, huh? Ah, uh, but now I've, I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Okay. You know, that guy's a quirky fellow. Alright, let's make our way up the mountain. More gold ducks! Why are there so many gold ducks in this world? I don't need any more gold ducks. Unless they're shiny. <laughs> oh. Is this lady giving us trouble again, Indigo? Don't make me beat you up, I will. Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, render a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. I agree, you're acting like a real bee, Melanie. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. You'll be thanking me once I save this electrode. Like, haven't you heard about my deeds? The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my Pokemon. Then it's a battle you will get, Melanie. But I will not go easy on you. You have a skunk tank? That is nothing. Skunk tank are weak. Especially against Ryder. Granted, he might be underleveled. Skunk tank. Oh, God. The Night Slash! That was a good move. Uh, we can bulldoze. We can get two moves if we do this. Oh, you're done, skunk tanker. We've got a quick little rhino on our hands. Boom, boom, boom. Come on! It's super effective. Will to do the trick. Oh, let's go. This one isn't even agile style. Let's go! Rider's a beast. Did you even not even know about Rider? Come on. Listen here. Neither I nor Skunkrat will admit defeat. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunkrat time to recover. A tactical retreat, I'll call it. Yeah, well, you're... That girl is on something, Indigo. I think that's what we got ourselves into. A lively character indeed. I cannot fathom Warden Millennia's intention, but now let us press on. I, I think she's on the hard stuff. Oh, there's some ghost Pokemon in here, Indigo. You gotta be careful in here. Do you have Pokemon? This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. Maybe Pokemon made the Great Pyramids. Why is this guy following me in here, Volo? You are a stalker. You are a certified stalker. Oh, have you considered that it could somehow have been the cause by the space-time rift? Volo, you'd bring nothing to the table. I can't remember my own home. 
So you might do better to pose your questions to Squatch. Way to go, Indigo. Tell this freaking rat what it's worth. Well, indeed, I hope your memories return, Warden Indigo. You know, how about you then, Squatch? I don't like you any better, Volo. Do you remember what you saw before when you fell out of the rift? No. No, I don't remember anything, Volo. And this is not the time. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of the rift is causing the strange lightning. Yeah, well, a great hypothesis. It makes sense, Volo. You're a real genius. How'd you think of that one? That's why we already had a name for it, as it appears. What you name? What'd you name? Now we can... Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side? It's, it's probably a blue one. My guess is the almighty Sonoa's realm. But then that begs a question. Why is the space-time rift open when it closed once so long ago? And why would Squatch have fallen through it? There's so much unknown. I, I guess, whatever, Volo. You little perv, get out of here. Oh, I am a mere admirer of the runes. A little more. If something needs investigation, then I would entrust that task to Squatch. Until next time. Yeah, I don't. That guy's kind of sus, isn't he, Indigo? Yeah, that's a weird fella. Once again, press forward. Oh, let's get one of these these steel guys. No. No. One of those is gonna get caught. Let's go. Couple bronze ores. Oh my. Oh my. The big bronzosaurus. It's sleeping. We'll see. Come on, bronzosaurus. You can just stay in the ball. Let's go! A bronzong. Pokemon. That is like. That is a big old grizzly bear, Squatch. Oh, he's sitting! He's sitting so well. Just get captured. It's okay. No! No, he's scared! Don't be scared. Everything's okay. Just stay in the bar. No! You seriously want this? Fine, bear. It's your funeral. Come on, let's just catch this little guy. Nice! An Ursa ring. Way to go, Sophie. Wait, Bolo? What are you doing? Why are you just sitting out here waiting for me again? Oh, you're- Oh, you're not Volo! Okay, okay. I came here since I heard you were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that bronzer is getting in the way. It's not s belligerent, but it seems like it wants something. Maybe it wants a friend. Please, do you think you could find out what the bronzer wants? I could ask it, but... That's the best I could do. I mean, I assume it doesn't want to get owned. Do you want to get owned? Zor! Um, what does that mean? Oh. It wants to get rid of those trees? Is there some- there's something over there? Maybe he's got like a buddy over there. The Psyduck? Did you want me to to get rid of the Psyduck? I'm good at that. I'm somewhat of a Psyduck exterminator. Oh! There's another Psyduck. That must be what he wants. No, 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 no. 
God dang it. I don't want to fight this Psyduck. I have no qualms with Psyduck. Hey, little buddy. Look at this. Zor, 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 Zor. Nice. Well, now can you set up camp? Now that their Bronze Zor love story is complete. Zor, 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 Zor. Seems like the Bronze Zor at the new campsite was looking for a friend the whole time. Oh. Alright, we'll set up camp now. You were with us. Nice, you're at this camp too. I don't need beans. No, oh, indigo. There you are. I was just setting up a camp. Wait. Oh my god! What is it? You never expect to be able to climb such a sheet of cliff as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on the face of a cliff. Oh. We're gonna be able to climb the mountains. Dude, that's so sick. Just who was I before I came to Hisu, Indigo? Were you a bank robber? Oh, you were a Pokemon battler. You wanna battle me? I mean, okay, but... I've gotta warn ya. I've got a magical fish. All aboard the Machoke train! Oh, he's got a Machoke. What's good against fighting? What's good against fighting? Ryder? I don't know. Ryder's my weakest Pokemon. Why is he going out first? Ryder's so seriously overmatched. Oh, it's got a free bulk up. Oh, it's offensive stats. Oh, defensive stats. God. Poison jab. Can we poison this bee? I'm just banking on it not getting one shot. Ryder, you're not gonna get one shot, are you? He's calling him back. What a puss. Oh, uh, Glissagore. Oh my, he's got such a strong team. It's super effective. Oh my god. Uh, god. We have to send out... Magic fish, magic fish. Please give us the magic dish. It's got two? Unless I Zen Headbutt, it's gonna get a double strike. All right, we Zen Headbutt, we'll tank one move. Uh, quick attack, nice, that's a weak attack. We got bailed out. Why does it get two? It said it wouldn't get two. Aqua Tail, just finish it. No, it missed. No, 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 no. God, this guzzler. Come on, come on, fish. Come on. This little guzzler. Just hit him with a move. Hit him with it. Yes! Thank God. Now what is he gonna send out? Bringing that little Machoke back out? A Tangela. That's weak. That's weak sauce. Sun Thumbs 4 is a decent move. He's playing the long game. Oh god, Tangela's good against everything. Oh, this is where... Yes, this is where Slyther comes in handy. Slyther can slice down this Tangela. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we get a move. Uh... I think Scyther's a special attacker, right? Oh, jeez. He's such a beast. Scyther is such a beast. He's loving carrying. Now, it's in the choke. Double edge. Nice, so she's damaged by the recoil. Can you finish this? No, 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 no. Super effective. Yup. Let's finish this. Scyther. Jeez. 
You killed Ryder, but... You killed Ryder. Bravo. You fought well, too, Indigo, honestly. Uh, you, you had me scared for a second there. Your talent was, has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now, allow me to call Snizzler. Snizzle, snizzle, snizzle! All these Pokemon seem, uh, they really like that one note. <laughs> I like how astonished Squatch is. No. No! We can ride that thing? No. I would be scared of this thing. Sneasler, would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Yeah, I, but what if she doesn't open her heart to my sound? Jeez, the Sneasler. That is a, I'm, I can't get over how humanoid it is. Okay, Sneasler. You just kind of scare me. Oh, the toxic plate. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Indigo, don't kill yourself! Oh, please proceed up the cliff with Sneasler. Aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! You can now call Sneasler to scale and descent the rocks. No shot. <laughs> 